Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today we are going to see the demo of attendance tracking project and um, this project is available in Spring Boot and uh, you know, to, it's using completely MSE format and to for the view part it's using JSP and HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and uh, to manage the backend or server side programming it's using a Spring Boot and you can see here the DAO and controllers are there and it's using MBC architecture to manage the dependency it's using form or uh, like Maven to manage the dependency to manage the backend or uh, create a model transaction it's using Hibernate and uh, the 3 dbc no RM tool and uh, to storing the database we are using mysql workbench so you can say mysql database to run the project or deploy the application we are using tomcat server or you can see using by default server of ide sts you can run the th same project over the eclipse or you can run over the sts tool but we recommend it for the sts tool because it has all the dependencies okay before starting the demo i'm going to uh, clear something like uh, if you need this source code you can contact us um, the team will provide the complete source code and uh, also we have support to run the project at your machine so in kind, in kind of error if you are facing any kind of error so we have support team that will really help you to run the project at your machine so you can contact uh, over, or to us over the mail or skype or whatsapp and you can check the content details into the description okay so let's start the demo to run the spring application and we have a starter here so we started under the and attendance making application and i'm just going to right click over here and click on run on server and select the third option spring boot app this is the default server that come into the sts tool when i run the command uh, automatically over my console can see that lots of logs are there so just we need to check on which port number our application is running so my application my spring application is run on 8081 in your case it might be different so what you need to do now just open the resources go to application or property and select this copy this URL now open your browser over your browser just enter localhost and the server port number in my case at 081 and the attendance making project name that we have just copied from uh, application or property file okay when i hit the enter button automatically the project will load at my okay i did some mistake yeah okay so this will be here we need to put a semicolon uh, column not a uh, slash uh, so this will be your welcome page of the application uh, here we have a two option to register as a user or as an admin user here we have another two option to log in as an user or log in as an admin in the application we have one super user as well super admin as well who is going to manage the other admins so let's see all the roles and functionality of the application how the things are working over there so i'm just flip to my <coughs> mysql workbench under the my mysql workbench i just open my database open the table and just right click on the admin table to view the record of admin user so if you see here we have two records role id 1 and role id 2 so one always will be a super user so let's sign in as a super user and see what super user can do um, super admin can do so here is the login id so before uh, enter the login id just make sure you have selected the admin login form from here and as i enter the login id and the password this is the password in the database so i'm just going to copy the same password and write it. okay now we have an admin report so uh, what a super admin can do super admin can manage all the other admins into the system so this is the admin reports and super admin can delete any new admin or any other admin so currently it has one record so there is the records 
when a new admin going to register into the application the app the request will come to the super admin and super admin can approve or disapprove the application uh, things from here let me uh, show you the demo so when i click to the registration go to admin registration and i enter admin uh, let's say normal admin enter normal admin i enter my email id let's say normal uh, it should be like uh, normal admin at the rate gmail.com i want to enter some password demo at the rate 23 i want to confirm the same password demo at the rate 23 i want to select the sender and into contact number so some 10 digit valid number and age let's say 28 and save so when i hit the save button the data will go to the server and it registered successfully as an admin now if i am going to log in as a super admin and i view the admin report you can see the new uh, report is there new uh, admin is there so i just edit the record and here I can approve or cancel him as an admin until the user uh, super admin will not approve this user admin will kind of be logged into the system so let's say I saved successfully and now it's approved now I can log in with this new user so if I refresh my admin database and admin table I can see the new record there and you can also see so I have choose this ID to log in as an admin again and this is the normal admin I log in into the system now what I can do as an admin as a normal admin so I can add a new skill let's say Java and this is for demo and I hit the save button and it's saved now I can see the skills into the uh, database or you can add many records from there it's not a big issue uh, like let's say let's say data and enter some data Saved. so here you can uh, perform all the crude operation like you can search the record uh, by type or you can say let's say session type or you can search you can delete the record you can edit the record so my, all the options are there next option we have as a session so admin can add a new session so let's say i select the session skill set and uh, i select the classroom session or virtual version so it's, let's say virtual version i select the date so let's say it's uh, 26 06 2021 and enter the time let's say it's 12 pm and enter the session slots let's say i say enter 20 slots and again the description this is a demo when i save the slot uh, i have the session report will show you a newly created session now i can add a new trainer as an admin so to save the time i'm not going to fill the every form so i'm just telling you what the record the, what the things you can perform here so you, as an admin you can add a new trainer into the database and you can check the list of that um, available trainers you can delete update you can uh, means you can perform all the code operation like search delete update and you can check the enrollments and you can mark the attendance let's say for and we have just created a new session and uh, we want to mark an attendance so like nobody attend this session so it's not showing any data and uh, let's say let me try this one so here we have one record so i can uh, mark the attendance and save it now uh, under the report section i can check the report of this session so this session have a two user that attend and feedback report like after session user going to submit some kind of feedback about the session so let's say for this session i have this for feedback so admin can view the feedback as well also admin can perform the change password and it. now let's log in as a front user and check what a front user can perform 
to, to view the user data you just need to view the user table so just right click on the user table select the first option you will get the data of the user table now into the user table here we have a user id so i'm going to enter this user id before enter the data into the login form make sure you are going to select user login i select the i enter the user id and i enter the password here and when I hit the sign in button, I can see the sessions. I can attend uh, sessions report. So it's going to uh, what are the session I'm going to attend as a user. So let's say for this session, I'm going to enroll. So let's enroll in the session and you are enrolled in the session. Now the session will display here. Also, we have an option to add a feedback about the session. So let's say I enroll in the newly created session and now the session will display in my record and now let's say I'm going to add the feedback and I entered feedback and this will be good. I hit the save button and under the feedback form I can check my feedback also admin and the user can also check that thing. As a user I can change password as I can log out and that's it so this is the complete demo about the attendance marking system and uh, it is a spring boot project and following uh, mbc things and uh, now for the front ends using bootstrap and jsp so in case you need uh, you can contact us so our team will provide even if you have a requirement to learn the things and you you are preparing for interview and you are uh, looking to explain uh, how the things are working the internal code so we have that plans as well we, we have the services so you can directly join us uh, our team will take live session over the zoom or uh, google meet to explain you all the things how the things are working internal code flow and everything and in case you want to learn all the development from the scratch in java you can contact us our team will help you and you can join our training sessions thank you